Hello, and welcome to Deploy Intune 101, a free video training course on how to quickly configure and deploy Intune as a standalone enterprise mobility management solution. My name is Roy, and this video is brought to you by UEM Authority. Let's get started. We start this episode here, looking at Microsoft's documentation website, which describes the steps to set up Device Enrollment Manager accounts for Intune. Device Enrollment Manager accounts are a nice little feature of Intune as they allow an organisation to pre-enrol or stage up to 1,000 devices per account. Such device scenarios may include kiosk mode and shared user modes, which is supported by all device platforms. For Windows especially, Device Enrollment Managers supports autopilot and bulk enrollment. In order to set up Device Enrollment Manager accounts, we must first create an Azure Active Directory account, either in the cloud, directly, or on-premise, which can then be synced up to Azure Active Directory. For the purpose of this training video, I have pre-created an Azure AD account ready for adding to Endpoint Manager. Heading across into my Azure Active Directory, you can see I have simply created an account called iOS Enroll at mydomain.onmicrosoft.com. I have given this account a job title as DEM, which is Device Enrollment Manager, account used to mass enroll iOS devices. The license requirements for this account is an Enterprise Mobility and Security E3 or E5. You may also use a Microsoft 365 Business Premium subscription, as this also includes an Intune license. In order to add this account to our Endpoint Manager console, we head across and open our Endpoint Manager console, select Devices under Device Enrollment, Enroll Devices, and then Device Enrollment Managers. We select the Add button. We will now go ahead and copy the UPN for the Azure AD account. Select Profile, find the full account UPN, copy that. Go back into our Endpoint Manager console and paste this into the text field. You can see a green tick has appeared, which means the account can be found and is active. We now select the Add button. And here we can see Endpoint Manager has successfully added the account as a device enrollment manager. If this prompt up here comes back with an error, this is most likely because either a license has not been assigned to the account or perhaps a license has been assigned. However, you must wait until a sync or a few minutes for a refresh to happen in the background. Once you have waited for that period of time, go ahead and select the account and add it again, and then you should get a successful implementation. The account is now ready to enroll devices. Enrollment restrictions allow an organization to gatekeep, control, and customize what device platforms and OS versions are allowed to enroll into Intune. The idea here is to reduce risk as compromised devices can misrepresent their character. These restrictions are best effort barrier for non-malicious users. In order to set up device restrictions or customize policies already in place, we head over into our Endpoint Manager console, select Devices, Enroll Devices, Enrollment Restrictions. Now, as you can see, we have the av availability to create a restrictions policy for either device type restrictions or device limit restrictions. 
we will first of all create a new policy for device type restrictions. So we go ahead and select the Create Restriction button, select Device Type Restriction, For the purpose of this fictional scenario, we will be creating a personal owned BYOD enrollment restriction. So we have named this policy personally owned BYOD devices. We will give this a short description. select the next button. Now we can see the available settings in order to allow or block by device platform. Starting at the top with Android Enterprise, in my fictional organization, we will be allowing personally owned Android Enterprise for work profile devices to enroll. So under platform, we want to ensure allow is selected to, next to Android Enterprise. And also under the personally owned column, we want to ensure allow is also selected. Now, as you can see, we have the availability here to set a minimum and a maximum operating system version and also to define certain device OEMs and manufacturers. We will not be going into that level of granular detail for this for this video. However, we will be setting a minimum OS version for Android Enterprise. So as of as of recording, you can see that Android 11 is the latest available operating system version for Android. So what we will set here is current version minus one. So we'll call that 10.0. What this means is for any personally owned device which is looking to enroll into Intune, perhaps to consume corporate services such as email, the prerequisite for that device is they must be running or the device must be running Android 10 or above. This is customizable depending on your organization requirements. We will also do the same for iPad and iOS. So under platform, we select allow. Under personally owned, we keep allow selected. And for the minimum operating version, operating system version, we can see that iOS is the current, iOS 14 is the current serviceable um, OS version. So back in our endpoint manager console, we will again use now minus one, which is iOS 13.0. We can go really granular here and start to specify build numbers and iterative upgrades. However, we will keep these at major release numbers. Now to block certain platforms. Of course, device, Android Device Administrator is now considered a legacy method of managing Android devices in the enterprise. So we want to block that. Immediately, as I select block, you will see personally owned also gets blocked. We do not have any Mac OS devices in our fictional organization. So again, we will select block. And we do have Windows devices, so we are going to allow those and we are also going to allow personally owned Windows devices to enroll for BYOD. We will not be setting a minimum version for Windows. We then select next. Default scope tag, we will keep this as default. Select next. Assignment group, we will add a group. As you can see, I have pre-created 
two Azure Active Directory groups, one called Corporate Devices and the other called Personal BYOD Devices. So for the purpose of this training video and the policy that we have just created, I will select Personal BYOD Devices, select, select Next. Review the configuration of your policy. If you are happy, press Create. Restrictions successfully assigned and restrictions successfully created. So as you can see, the new policy is now listed here. And we also have the default policy. So we will go in and amend the default policy because the idea here is that we want to restrict um, our users from enrolling personal devices. And how we do that is by adding their user account into the Azure Active Directory group manually upon request, then the user will have permission to then enroll their device into Intune and consume corporate services. However, for corporately owned devices, which fall under the this default policy, we want to go into the policy, select it, select properties, select edit, because to reflect the personally owned policy, we also want to limit Android device and device administrator platform and we also want to limit Mac OS platform as our fictional organization does not support those platforms. So we will go ahead and select block. We will also go ahead and select block against Mac OS. And then once again, setting a minimum OS version for our corporate devices. So much like our personal, personal enrolled devices, we want to keep the same OS version minimum limit so for android enterprise that was n minus one so 10.0 for ios slash ipad os our current version is ios 14 so we want to support n minus one which is 13.0 and once again we would probably want to set a minimum os version for our corporate devices However, that's dependable on the requirements. We will select review and save. Review our changes. If you're happy, select save. And those changes have now been saved. We go ahead and select enroll devices. We can see our policies here sitting ready to go. Both are assigned. Now talking about device limit restrictions. Device limit restrictions is a way for an organization to define how many devices each user can enroll into the Intune service. The current default limit is set as five by Microsoft. This is customizable by selecting the policy, selecting properties, selecting edit next to device limit, Next to device limit, select the drop down box. I will now change this to 10. I will select review and save. Save. Now, as you can see, the changes have taken place and now the device limit is set as 10. We will select enroll devices from the top navigation bar. As you can see, Device limit restrictions is now set to 10.